All right, howdy, welcome back to the Addicted Motors uh, Daily Auction Chat. Uh, my name is Troy, we do these little discussions every morning about Land Rovers that we find at auction. And uh, I guess the topic of this one is D2s. Now, I, I'm bringing up this D2, it's not really about this D2, but D2s in general are popping up at auction, uh, or dealer auctions on a much higher number than before which I think is a positive sign for those looking around for, uh, for ship boxes that uh, can be fixed up and have fun with. They're not being retailed, I don't believe, as much as they were because they're pretty terrible when they're traded in. Um, so this one is interesting. It's an 03. It's down in Florida. And it's listed for $1,600. And uh, eight owners, uh, no remarks as far as condition or anything like that. It's what you see is what you get, literally is what you see. So let's analyze this as, as best as we can by just looking at the pictures and uh, come up with a conclusion. I uh, just went through it's $700 to get to Richmond, Virginia, which isn't too bad. Um, so it's out in the field. Um, it's got green paint. I also don't remember what that paint code is, but that's the best, uh, one of the better Disco T D2 paint colors. It's like a Charleston green looking color. I'm sure someone will trick me in the comments, but it's an SD, or sorry, it's an S. So it's got a 4.6 V8. It's an 03, so no locking transfer case. Uh, base model, no sunroof, which is cool. It's a really great spec. I'd rather be an 04 with the locking transfer case, but you can't have it all. Um, looking at the pictures here, the paint's kind of clear coat shot. Got a little water in the headlights. You know, I wonder, I mean, could it be a flood car? I, I don't know. I mean, it seems cheap, but that's really what this thing is worth. That's, that's like no markup. That's like we got it for free and we're just trying to make a couple bucks on to get it off the yard price. And that's, you know, the optimist in me, but it also could be terminal. But, the, you know, my biggest concern with this one, 180 or 100, I forget what the mileage is, it's pretty high, is, is not so much the mechanics, but if it has a rusted rear frame. Um, it just, there's no pictures of it. And the, the, it says runs and drives, true miles unknown, which is a Florida thing. Florida, anything over 100,000 miles, uh, it comes with a title that says true mileage unknown because it's older. Um, it got the Jurassic Park stamp on there. I wonder if it was a part of some type of display or uh, safari themed animal park or something like that. But the interior looks good. Now I noticed in this picture, I zoomed in because you can see that the truck's on. So the RPM's reading about 1,000-ish RPM, and I don't see any lights on, which is kind of wild. So maybe this thing runs and drives. And the next, I think there's a picture of the, yeah, there you go, no lights on. It's not overheating. I've seen so many ads where the car's literally overheating in the pictures and they don't realize it. Um, but this is this could be worth the gamble. I don't know. Again, let, let me know in the comments, what do you think? It's an 03, 4.6, Discovery S, good color, in Florida, super cheap. I mean, I think it's kind of worth the gamble, honestly. For that price, um, you know, unless it's massively overheating or has a completely rusted out subframe, I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely tempting, and I'm definitely seeing more of these pop up for very little money. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next shot.